first question is, is who approached who first about this project? So it kind of started naturally when we were having meals and stuff. We just started talking about wishful thinking. We just met. How to uh, make the fighting game genre more popular among the fans. Um, and then naturally it kind of... Uh, just kind of drifted towards having uh, a title with both franchises included. So we started climbing up the ladder of management and we became in, in a, an appropriate position to talk about such big projects. I had been uh, wanting to do a tie-up with them for about 13 years now, uh, but the timing was just really good now since uh, I was finally able uh, to have a position in the company to actually make something of, uh, with the both franchises happen. Uh, for Mr. Ono, what do you think is the greatest challenge of bringing the Tekken universe into the Street Fighter universe? And for Mr. Harada, what to you is the greatest challenge of bringing Street Fighter into the Tekken universe? Well, you know what, I've actually never had a problem with this because Considering Tekken characters are a copycat of Street Fighter characters anyway, um, there was no problem of actually bringing you know, the, the, the copied characters into the original game. There's absolutely no problem at all. So it's nice as a creator to see Nina Kazuya moving in Street Fighter world where they actually belong. From a, a technical and a gameplay standpoint, uh, there are a lot of uh, obstacles that we have to overcome when uh, creating the Tekken cross Street Fighter uh, game. Although uh, most fighting games have actually been influenced quite heavily by Street Fighter, uh, as have we, such as uh, the lever uh, going back for guarding and, and such is something that's similar to Street Fighter series. Um, but uh, Tekken has actually been influenced by several different fighting games and uh, in creating the different installments in the series we've kind of come to uh, a more innovative game that's quite different uh, than the original influencing. How do you decide, I mean obviously fans have their favorite characters, but how do you decide which characters that you want to put on the rosters? So for the moment, um, we've just released this um, collaboration between the two amazing IPs and just because we wanted to hurry up in showing people things first, we haven't really decided what to do with the characters yet. Um, so we're in discussion with um, Harada here, um, talking about you know what we, we really want to do with these two franchises. One thing is for sure though, because I know Harada is trying to eliminate Jun Kazama, but I really want her back. So that's, that's one character from me. Deciding the character roster is actually one of the most difficult aspects in creating the game. Uh, when looking at the Street Fighter character roster, um, most of their characters are very unique and uh, each could be a main character uh, in their own right. So uh, they have that. And then for our franchise, uh, we just have so many characters overall. Uh, and they all are diff uh, vary in popularity among fans worldwide. So uh, it's always difficult for even our franchise. So when you uh, take the two and put them together, it really is a difficult uh, thing to decide on. So is June coming back? Well, uh, we've heard a lot of the voices from the fans who want that, especially on Twitter, which I often look at, and that's one thing that I keep in mind when deciding the lineup. Everyone, you heard that. Harada just said yes. So, uh, obviously, Mr. Ono especially, you know, you, you interact with the fans a lot. I mean, how important is sort of the fans' input into this whole project? I mean, are you guys sort of really paying attention to what they have to say about what they would like to see in uh, either of these games? So as you know, um, Street Fighter franchise has been dormant for about 10, 12 years and it was basically the fans' voices that brought the franchise back into the scene, so obviously we, we do listen to the fans. But when it comes to the actual game balance, most of the requests are like make my Z Zangief invincible or stop nerfing my guy or it's, it's that sort of comment. So we sometimes just have to ignore the fans and trust in our um, battle directors and just let them make the game instead of making what fans want. As you heard from Ono-san, the Street Fighter series was dormant for about 10 years or so and uh, I was one of the loudest uh, fans asking for a return of Street Fighter uh, and I had been telling Ono that for years and years and it seemed like it took about 10 years for him to actually listen so you know that in itself is a problem. Basically, uh, Street Fighter 4 is one of the easier to understand examples, uh, how that was one thing that uh, really came about from fans asking for a comeback. Uh, so that's really easy to understand. Uh, with our franchise, you know, uh, we've been working on it for 15, this is my 16th year now, I think, uh, and we've been constantly updating it, so it's not as easy to understand. But of course, we have fans uh, worldwide uh, with many different varied re requests, um, so it's not so simple and, and straightforward in implementing the, fan the feedback from the fans. Uh, but we do try our best to do that, 
uh, especially I've been uh, watching Twitter closely uh, and been able to interact with fans and listen to what they want uh, via that channel as well. Um, but the same could probably be said for Onosan as well uh, from now on. Uh, since he's brought back Street Fighter with Street Fighter 4, I think now he'll have some a similar si circumstance where you'll have many very different requests from uh, fans worldwide that you'll have to address. So I think he'll, he'll be in the same boat. I, I can feel that, and that's why we're making Street Fighter cross Tekken so people can start commenting on this instead, not the Street Fighter franchise. Tekken fans will be very vocal as well in regards to your product, so I think you have a lot to listen to. Damn! Do you have any dream matchups that you want to see? I mean, personally, for me, Zangief and Kuma. I mean, you know, there are some suspiciously close characters. As you know, Kuma and Zangief, Eddie and DJ, or perhaps we could compete on how high Guile or uh, Paul's hair could be. Well, uh, of course, as Onosan mentioned, the pair up of Zangief and Kuma, for example, would be quite interesting. Uh, uh, also, the other characters that are similar in appearance, uh, not only in appearance, but there's some that have uh, similar fighting styles that might be an interesting matchup. Uh, we get a lot of feedback from the fans via Twitter uh, about that, actually. Uh, but personally, one thing I would like to really see is you versus, like, for example, all of this, the uh, Tekken characters, uh, one after the other, and to see you know, how many losses and wins he has when doing that. One thing that many of the fans might have seen in the trailer uh, previously was Dan being knocked across the screen. Uh, that was actually my idea and something that uh, I implemented. Uh, but, and then since then, uh, the setting is perhaps maybe Dan uh, is dead and can no longer be used by the Street Fighter franchise. So we were thinking of actually paying, buying them off and uh, getting the rights for Dan to use in Tech N. And uh, the idea I perhaps have is to have him uh, join the Tech N crew. And he's been, uh, for years, uh, been, you know, talked down to by the Street Fighter guys. And he's been kind of the joke character. But now that he's joined Tech N, he becomes strong. And he really gets to have a chance to have his revenge against the Street Fighter crew. Final question. Uh, when can we expect uh, both of these games to come out? And for which platforms? So I think I said uh, two years at Comic-Con, and then uh, day after, I got called into uh, Keiji Inafune's office, and he literally kicked my ass and said, do you really think I'm going to give you that much time? So I think that meant make it a bit quicker. So I'm going to try hard, and we will try and, and release this game before the apocalyptic end of the Earth. Well, this is uh, actually something that fans ask quite often. Uh, after Comic-Con, we had a lot of uh, people think that it were, both of the games were coming out simultaneously and maybe there was some kind of special double pack uh, for a value price. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, but that's not the case at all. Um, as far as Onosan's project, uh, I think he said, according to the Mayan calendar, uh, somewhat before the apocalypse. Um, so that means for us, we release after that. So uh, sometime after the apocalypse, I guess is the only thing we could say.